Hey guys, Tiffy Stacy here, and I'm back, and I wanted to give you guys a tour of my balcony garden that I've been working on for the last, uh, what, almost two months. So this is my first balcony garden, and I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but it has, and I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with the results. So I want to show you how I did it, and just kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. All right, let's go. So I just finished watering it. Um, it's pretty small, but I didn't want to have a bunch of plants on my balcony because it's just trying to get them up the stairs. It's just annoying. So right here, this is my parsley. It's definitely flowering. Um, I have not had a chance to look this up of why this is going on, but this was parsley at some point. And to the right is my cilantro my beautiful cilantro now the way I planted these was I had a bag of um, garden soil and um, like manure mixed them up um, they were plants at first so I put them in the pot and just began to water them made sure I kept up with any of the nutrients if it needed like some plant food or calcium um, and just let them grow so this is the result with my cilantro now as you can see here I am so proud of this these are my peppers now as you can see you can see a pepper plant look how big this thing is this is amazing I didn't think it was possible that I would be able to grow it in this pot, as you can see here. And I have a trash bag around it to keep the water from dripping. Hasn't really done a really, really good, really good job with it, but it helps a little bit. So as you can see here, I have my pepper plants. You got a baby pepper back here, and I'm not sure which one it is. I planted red, yellow and green to green peppers so this looks like a I'm not sure if this is change of color so and as you can see here I have there was a little baby one on this one so you got your peppers right here right here as you can see here and then I don't know what happened to that other one. Disappeared. Anyway. Then I have my jalapenos right here. These are going really long. So, um, first time I've had jalapenos, they came straight from seeds. So they grew pretty strong. I started it in a little, um, like one of those candle um, holders that you get from like White Barn candle or bath and body works and I started it in there and that's how it began to grow so these are flowers right here they have not began to bloom yet that's another flower plant and then right here let's get in focus this is my green beans I love green beans and I wasn't quite sure on how these were going to turn out but look oh my gosh gorgeous right got some more here I'm going to give it a, probably another couple of weeks before well the smaller ones of course like like that one back there. I don't know if you can see it. I've never actually recorded and talked on the phone like this. So this is a whole new experience. And to the left, right there, is my sunflower plant. This is started from seed. I love sunflowers, so I'm really excited about how this is gonna look, so. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here it is from the top. 
And so, to the right of it, this beautiful flowering plant is my basil. This basil, let me pull this out. Oh my gosh, it is going crazy. I don't know if it's because of the plant food or the calcium I use, but this thing is just growing so beautiful. Yes. And I made um, pesto a few weeks ago from this particular plant and it's super easy to make. All you need is like olive oil, like some pine nuts and you mash it together and you get pesto. It's delicious. So to the right of it is of course the beautiful tomato plant and this city picker plant or planter that I had put them in this was about 20 bucks at Home Depot I'm so glad I had um, used this thing because I was using one of these to plant my tomatoes and it was growing way too way too big for the pot so I ended up consolidating I had four of them like that I ended up consolidating them and putting them in this big city picker plant planter and as you can see here, look, you can see the baby, baby tomatoes. Look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. And then you got some bigger ones back here. That I want to give a couple of little more weeks before I plant them or before I pick them. And I'm thinking about making like some salsa with it. So, I'm super excited. Super excited about these. Have to water them like about every other day. Can't water them too much because um, I run the risk of it dripping below down to my neighbor's place. So, I'm trying to prevent that. But, yeah, it's been fun. It's been definitely a, something I never thought I would do. But I'm very proud of it. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this. So I hope you guys liked my beautiful balcony garden. I am so proud of it and I am happy to share any tips or information about how I did it. So please feel free to comment in the comments and I'll definitely answer if you're curious on knowing on how I did that. But aside from that, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Please share if this is something that you would love to share with um, your friends. Other than that, you can feel free to follow me on at Tiffy Stacy on Instagram or Facebook. I'm on there as well. So other than that, I will see you guys sometime soon. I am going to enjoy this beautiful weather that we have. It's not too hot, not too cold. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.